For the longest time, I have been telling you, tell your time where to go instead of wondering where it went. This is how I approach planning. Don't go through life, don't go through your day, don't go one more hour reactively. Live proactively, but ignore the information for right now. You may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, you're telling me what? Are you telling me not to plan? Yes, I'm telling you not to plan. I'm Mark Stuchowski. I'm a productivity coach. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> Here's why planning should never come first. The why should come first. Now, I'm all for planning. You should plan. You should have an idea of what you're going to do this hour, next hour, today, tomorrow, this week, this month, this quarter. But more important than planning what you're gonna do is the why. Why are you planning these things on your calendar? Have you ever thought about that? A lot of productivity coaches say, plan, plan, plan. Don't leave your calendar empty. It's an invitation for procrastinating. You can't throw anything on your calendar. You have to plan intelligently. And it all starts with a three letter word of why. Why are you going to put whatever on your calendar? For example, let's say you're a coach and you have a client. You would put that coaching call on your calendar. Why? Because you're going to coach a client. Let's say you're writing a book. You would put on your calendar, I'm going to write my book for one hour, two hours, three hours, whatever the case may be, because you want to write your book. Don't throw things on your calendar like spaghetti against the wall. You need to understand why things are going on your calendar. This is a simple but very profound step. Think before you plan. Did you get it? Think before you plan. I should plan, so eight o'clock I'll do this, nine o'clock I'll do this, 10 o'clock I'll do this, 11 o'clock do this. Because you haven't figured out your why, what you plan for eight o'clock doesn't get done. Or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. Now, let's say you work for a corporation. Your day is structured. You have meetings at this time. You got to do this at this time. I still want you to plan and understand your why. Now, if you're working for somebody and they tell you, I want you to do X at nine o'clock and you're like, why does it got to be done at nine o'clock? Especially if you notice they don't do anything with the information till four o'clock in the afternoon. The question why and the answer you get are very important so don't just plan haphazardly, know your why. This applies for personal and professional. If you work for a corporation, understand why you're doing things the way you're doing them. One of the things I hear all the time is, oh, we've always done it this way. When I get called in the corporations or I get on Zoom calls with them, my first question is, why? Do you realize 95% of the people cannot answer that question? They look at me like, I don't know. I was trained that way and I'm training the next person that way. And I'm like, why haven't you asked why? They look at me and be fuddled. They're like, I don't know. So use the question why. If you're an entrepreneur, a small business owner, a mom, or dad, or teacher, you work for a corporation, even if you're the CEO or the owner of a company, use the power of why. And if you don't get a satisfactory answer, dive deeper. And if you still don't get a satisfactory answer, does that report or whatever needs to be done? Something to think about. So yes, you should tell your time where to go instead of wondering where it went, but you need to understand why. Hey, Rockstar. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the podcast. I truly appreciate your time and attention. So I want to help you more. 
And the best way to do that is for you to head on over to my website, mrproductivity.com, M-I-S-T-E-R, mrproductivity.com. There you can sign up for my free email newsletter, find out about my coaching. Matter of fact, everything and anything, well, except for my credit card numbers and social security number, you can find out at mrproductivity.com. Thank you so much again for your attention. And until we meet again, my friend, which will be sooner than you think, or maybe you'd like, (laughs) depending on your perspective, don't forget, stay productive and stay positive.